I know the money aspect is good, but we did just go through a big hurricane that just took place and Daytona was affected. A lot of places were affected. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. On today's video, we're gonna be discussing what just took place in Florida, the hurricane that came through and destroyed and devastated so many people. How is that gonna impact the real estate market and how is it impacting those who are living their day-to-day -day lives currently? And what does that mean for you, those who've been impacted? Um, there's a lot of things I wanna kind of discuss in this video and see what's your next move. Some of you probably didn't have flood insurance, so you might be in a pickle where insurance is not covering it you might have to go to fema there's a lot of things to talk about in this video so i'm going to break down you with things how it went down it's crazy so let's get in this video First, Ian came by and it came like crazy. A lot of people were affected, those who were affected in Fort Myers, some on Tampa area, some people in Orlando where I'm currently at right now got affected. So what happened? Some flooding, some cars in South Florida, some homes, a lot of homes, some apartment buildings, all these things took place. So what's going to happen is it's going to be a moving shift. People are going to be looking for housing outside of where they normally were. So that's going to create strengths in the market because there's not that many homes available because of that and some apartments can't take on new people so people are going to be moving 20 30 minutes outside of where they normally stay because they're looking for housing now so that's going to impact the market rents I mean, if people are not trying to be you know unethical some people might the rents may remain the same some might raise it. and if you're doing that shame on you i get it you want to run a business but try to be passionate at the same time so rentals are going quickly because people are still going to need places to stay insurance is covering some of these things so rentals is going to be impacted if you have a house for rent within that 10 20 30 mile radius your house might be getting rented quicker than you think those who are affected in the flood itself if you didn't have flood insurance as i mentioned in my intro it's an unfortunate thing my recommendation is you try to reach out to fema see how they can help i want you to try to save your house as much as possible in the event that you can't and you've exhausted all your resources you might want to start connecting with wholesalers you might want to connect with people who are in the field maybe buy the home as an investor they're going to buy it at a discount but if they can save you you from losing and if you are an investor try to be mindful people are, are relocating and not just look for dollar signs remember that are human and you want to have some compassion so that means that there's going to be less houses on the market for sale because some houses were impacted by the storm so now those houses that are under contract have since fallen through because they've been impacted so now you have an influx of new buyers looking for new homes because the last home they try to get got affected so now that puts even more constraints on already low inventory market so be patient. I wanted to kind of make this video so you kind of understand what's going on. And those who are in the areas you think that you weren't impacted by flood and you're considering that you might get flood insurance, that's up to you. I say you kind of figure that out. And it's just really an unfortunate thing. But there's new buyers in this market. And those who are selling their house, those who are selling their homes, get ready. Because if your house is up to par, people got to move quick. They're going to buy your house quickly. So make sure you have the right listing agent to help you. Make sure you're talking to your agent. What are you doing to prepare for this? What are you doing? doing because it's happening it's happening rather quickly and there's a lot of emergency funds that are being deployed right now that's going to be money coming to your pocket if you have a rental but that's going to be money coming to your pocket if you have your home and it was impacted and you can fix that home and maybe wait it out a couple of days or a couple of months you know not a couple of days weeks or months to kind of get back on track so right now the inventory is going to be short rentals are going to be moving quickly be mindful of that and clean up debris guys you're going to make a ton of money um and be compassionate with people's stuff i want to get this message out there be compassionate guys people are going through hard times and people are transitioning i know the money aspect is good but we did just go through a big hurricane that just took place and daytona was affected a lot of places were affected i just kept seeing things on fort myers maybe my team could pull some of it up what's happening in fort myers what was happening in daytona what was happening i think it went through jacksonville it was a lot of stuff going on so be patient in this market this is my update i want to talk about this because i'm not sure if you know you guys know what's going on or not but be patient in this market be very patient my last point i kind of want to get across in this video is as you're buying a home right now make sure you are doing your very good due diligence and making sure that that home wasn't impacted by the storm and nothing's being covered up just so you know so those who are in contract maybe go back and say hey i know you weren't really impacted by the storm but i would love to get a second look because of the storm that'll be my advice to you if you're in contract somewhere in florida and the storm kind of went through you may not have gotten all the impact but i know a lot of homes 
homes that had small impact. I know some people had their window seals. There was water coming in. I mean, my own personal house, I had water come in. So not to like a great degree, but those things can kind of be hidden if you're trying to sell a house, but I wouldn't tell you to do that. But you want to go take another look. Um, mine is very visible, but some people might try to hide it with a couch. You don't know. Go take another look if you're in contract right now before you close on that house. Go take another look. I urge you to do that. And those who are have roof damage, it's a lot of things that can be that can be halted because of the damage from the storm. So it's a lot to kind of take place from this video, but I hope it kind of gave you some type of value. If you did, leave a comment below, like this video, share it. I just want to kind of make sure that you guys understood what's going on and also give you some information. My name is Gene Garan with Real Estate Full Circle. That's my company. We do real estate as far as investing. I'm an investor first. I'm also a licensed realtor as well. And we also buy properties to flip and we build from the ground up. So just want to kind of give you this information, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Those who are subscribed to the channel and you constantly watch faithfully, I want to say thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Leave me some feedback. Whatever kind of videos you want to watch, let me know. See you on the next video. Until next time, I'm out.